Hi there, friends. It's me, Cassio Robinson. No, another... no, that I'm Cassio Robinson. I'm Cassio Robinson. Don't listen to that guy. <laughs> Today we'll be talking. <laughs> this woman Today... is trying to steal my identity, and I will not stand for it. Hi guys, it's me, Cassie Robinson, back with another YouTube video in 2019. Hey guys, it's it's me, Violet Sage, back to another YouTube video. Um, I'm having my guest here, Cassie Robinson. Um, I'm not in this band, and I'm just gonna ask him some questions. All right, cool. That sounds that sounds good. Are you are you ready for this interviewer and fans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fans are ready. I'm the fans. I'm ready. All right, awesome. So um, the fans of the yep. fans have the fans have always wondered how many albums do you have? Oh, we actually have four official albums that are out. Um yeah. Yep, that's it. None other. Okay, so we actually uh the the band ever since it was it was started in 2014 I think we have like 22 albums. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure it's 20. Let me 20? let me check the let me... You're not supposed we, to know have... anything about the band. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about the Poser. I'm sorry. Um, but um I have I I have a, I have a slight hunt with no bias that is 20. <laughs> All right, cool. So yeah, wait, 20, wait, we have 20 this, albums. The, uh 20 was um the one that's not real. The one okay. that music for uh, right, that was yeah. So we have we have we have twenty albums out. Well, not out. We have seven that are out. Well, six. Yeah. Because one in a rhyme is a compilation that's gonna probably be deleted soon. <clears throat> um, Wait, was it? Isn't it already deleted? No, it's not. I still haven't gotten around to it. All right. So, our our first actual album was called Slice the Throats, which was released in twenty seventeen. Um, uh, it, it, and it, it was, was, it was, it was just um, keyboard spam drums, that sounded bad, uh, and piano with obnoxious amounts of distortion on it, and really high pitched chipmunk screams, uh, which constituted grindcore slash death metal. Uh, so yeah, that was that was the origin. Um, after that, why is I another question that's been on everyone's mind oh, no. is um who is the stunning lady Violet Sage? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that is. It's just like this 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 random girl that joined in like twenty twenty one and just you know did nothing for the band except for on the uh actually never did anything for the band uh except just kind of existed there you know she's she's not a part of the band actually she's just likes to think she is but she's actually been fired since uh before she joined so yeah i've been fired for a while you are you violet sage i'm not violet sage i mean i mean sage has been banned for a while oh okay cool yeah so this uh violin lady or whatever her name is uh was like in the band and stuff uh, for like a day or two, and then we just fired her, but we never told her. And we think it's really funny. And see, uh, Jonas yeah. is still Jonas is still in the band, actually. You know, he's like right here. Um, say hi. Yeah, guys. hi. Hey guys, I like Little Women. All right, that's enough talking for you, Jonas. Um, all right. This one goes out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next question. I'm getting kind of bored here. You're gonna lose me. I'm not. You're going to be lost. I promise. So. So I have a question for you, a very important question. This one's actually like gen- genuine. Um okay. like so what is the earliest possible recording of music that you have? Like what year of would that recording be? Okay, so the earliest recording of music was probably our cover of Tourniquet by Breaking Benjamin. Um that was I th- think 2015 early 2015 and then after then a couple months after that um we recorded how i feel which was on uh the ep the apocalypse which was released in 2018 for whatever reason uh it's it's i think it's still out as a single uh from 2015 
But uh, yeah, no, the earliest piece of music that we recorded was the cover of Breaking Benjamin's Tourniquet. That's which is actually, bad, by the way. It, 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 I bet it was amazing, actually. Yeah, so uh, for, uh, for screams, I didn't know I had to scream, and when I did, I, I would be in excruciating pain. So I just whispered and pretended those were screams, and I sounded like Mike Ranica if he were whispering and were like seven years old. Dude, I love my crack of he were whispering in seven. <laughs> yep. I, yep. All right. Cool. Next question, please. Next question. Um. All right. I have a very good one for you. So, how is your cat? How's my what? How is your cat? You're you're like cutting out here. Did you just did you say hat or cat? Cat. How cat. is your cat? Oh yeah, uh, my cat is very good. She, whenever she uses the toilet, it smells really bad, and I have to get up in the middle of the night to clean it. Rumors say that your seven-string guitar had <laughs> no. an accident. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no, dude! No! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so, early, uh, this, this last summer, actually, I opened my seven-string guitar th- for the first time in, like, three months, and found out that it was soaking in my cat's pee. Um, <laughs> it still worked fine, it smelled really bad, it still worked fine, um, and I didn't get around to changing the actual guitar strings until, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> Which is very sad that you changed them. They were a relic. <laughs> if you keep them for safe. Why people. is that your profile picture now? <laughs> I didn't want you to notice yet. <laughs> so I why are you twenty twenty one version of me? The, 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 this per this picture implies that you've been but on the moon. Is this true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I've been on the moon. Yeah, I was actually I was actually on the moon already when um uh what's his name Neil uh Neil Pert I think that's that's the, yep. that is that's, not... that's the right guy Neil Pert went to the moon in 1961 or some in 1968 um yeah, and I was actually I was actually on the moon doing this photo shoot for the uh, profile picture for one of us is lying um and I actually got got back onto a spaceship with him and impersonated him. So, yeah, I'm actually Neil Pert of Rush and uh, the same guy who went to the moon, which was also called Neil Pert. Thank you for my te- yeah, thank in, you for coming to my in, TED Talk. In 1947, he did that. In 1947? And, uh, I thought it was 68. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, and it was in 1938. Oh, and, okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, that sounds about right. A couple of years off. And, yeah, you were a couple of years off. It, it's It's okay. Um, who do you think so, is actually going to watch this long? <laughs> uh, uh, we we are not cutting any of this out. I don't let. I won't let. Oh no, that's not good. This is very important. Okay. okay. So the next question. Next question is actually very interesting for me because oh. it, it's very cool, and I think I I would I want you I want to know. If... Hi guys, I'm back from checking DMs. No, he's not part of the band. He did try to troll us one t- one time, and it was really funny because he was like racist and stuff. I think, bro, he wanted to date me so bad. <laughs> All right, okay, next question. <laughs> All right, this question is specifically about album. I totally understand. Oh no. Um, so in hit songs, these right. <laughs> Yep. Is there a meaning to any of that at all? What do you mean? Like the is word me- the, the, the No, like, is there a meaning to the song? Oh, like lyric-wise? Yeah. Um, I, I think Simon was trying to rip off a Death Grip song with the lyrics, but I also wrote them. In the That's vein of the song he wanted to rip off. So, 
No. <laughs> yep, that's my answer. No, got it. Uh, the way we now. called it, the way we we called it, Steez was actually um he was eating bugles, I think. And then I was like, "That's cool. They're cheese flavored." And then he went, "Cheese." And then I went, "Tease." And then he went, "Steez." I'm just kidding. None of that actually happened. Next question. No, that uh, I do. I do want to know how it was named because Steez is is that a word? Uh, I don't know. Simon, I think Simon was just looking on Google for obscure uh, Gen Z words so i think that's where he got it it was originally going to be called it was originally going to be spelled s-t-e-e-s-e but then we uh then then we changed it to s-t-e-e-z because steez Um, anyway next question so a common misconception about the cassie roms brand is that jonas mallory actually was in the band why is that a is... common misconception? Everybody like that's 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 the second most known band member. <laughs> um, actually, Jonas Mallory was a government spy sent here. <laughs> was sent here by Winter Dawn Brown. Yeah, he was and also a government spy set, sent to uh, little girls' houses. Little girls' houses. And he was, he was, every single vocal take, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I need, I'm sorry that I'm exposing this now, but I'm Jonas Mallory. And no, I, dude. Oh, no. And I, all right, one more question before we go. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, say, Cassio Robinson 3, The Cat's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Your profile picture changed exactly when you said that. <laughs> the, the, the cat's no. revenge. And it's not even my third album, it's my fourth. <laughs> it says CR3 on the album. Yeah, I know, because at that point, uh, my first album was Ceiling Will Cave Eventually, which is after Slice Throats, and then uh, Banana Pickle Sandwiches, and then Cat's Revenge, and then Apocalypse, and then Two Sided. Got it. Yeah. So. Anyway, what about so, it? So. So that I so. Uh, and the cat on that album cover is definitely my cat. I definitely have an orange cat. Do you actually? It, it wasn't like a Google image or, or anything. Feel a picture of someone's cat for that. <laughs> hey, I looked on <laughs> Google for transparent cat <laughs> jumping background. No. <laughs> um so okay so, moving on oh wait 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 you can cut this out okay. um if we if i swore at any time can if can you like bleep it out with this song is called follow <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you did but yeah sure uh, i'll make sure to swear in the question um so casio yeah this question is very important why the follow f- are we here? <laughs> this song is called Follow. <laughs> and for for our viewers uh, that don't know what that is, um, there there was a fake live version that I did of Follow and a song that doesn't exist anymore, um, where I just yelled at the start, "This song is called Follow," and then added like stock audio of people clapping. It was great, and that's my producer tag. Anyway, uh, continue. Yeah. It- yeah, it's our producer put back. But I, did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Continue. The, so <laughs> this this all started from Cat's Revenge, right? I have a question about the Cat's. Yep. Is there anything on that song on that album that wasn't reused? Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I think on. I think closer was the only song that was reused on that album. Do we have a track list? Um, on, I think I made something in BandLab that has all the tracks on him. That'd um, be pretty cool. Hold on. No, no, no! People can't see our new song titles. No. 
Uh, we can just we can put a screen of uh, something. Yep, yep, yep. I we hate. Just, I, no. I, oh wait, never mind. Uh, playlist. Uh, the cats were having zero posts. Oh, no, that's too bad. Oh, but don't worry. <laughs> we have a lot of Toxic Forty Five songs on here. Yay! We sure need to. Yes. Remember, um, I'll, I'll just like write down all the song. I mean, uh, talk about all the songs that I remember. Uh, Without You was actually on this album, um, which is on Destination Unknown, which is probably going to be um, remixed and remastered and released as an EP. So it sounds better. Um, yeah. Uh, there was a song called, oh yeah, Closer, which we, we reused on an album that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, which was bad anyway, because that song was just terrible. Um, there was also a song on this called Close Your Eyes, which for some reason my mic was extremely distorted. And I was trying to be really quiet so nobody could hear that I was recording vocals. Uh, I, I think I still had my uh, distorted piano posing as guitar, even though I had an actual guitar and means to record it with. Uh, but I'm guessing you didn't know how to rec- play guitar yet. No, I did. No, no, I, I, I've, like, played guitar since, uh, f- 2014, I think. So you knew how to play the guitar, and you And I had the didn't? means to, I had the means to record it, too, and I didn't because I was lazy. And probably That's because it was during awesome. online school. <laughs> Oh. Also, I, I this is kind of the sidetracking, but what is Saturno? Oh no. Um, Breaking Benjamin released Aurora. I hope I'm saying that right. Which is a an acoustic version, an acoustic album with acoustic versions of all their old songs. Um. Uh, Saturno was that for me. Uh, that totally didn't rip them off or anything with that idea. Uh, but it was it just it basically just made all my already bad songs much much worse. Uh, so yeah, that's what it was. Does that count as an album? I don't think so. I think it just counts as, an, as a compilation. That... All right, then I won't count it. Okay. Um. Because I've always wondered what that was. Also, it's only eight tracks, so I guess it could technically be count as an EP. Uh, well, eight tracks is an album. Oh, yeah. But it's also not. It's 29 minutes. Oh, so then it isn't an album. Anyway, uh, next question, please. I'm getting a well, little impatient here. Well, we don't have any more questions, Cassio. Oh, we don't? Except for, you know, the question, um, who What's said? Moon. That's my question. Who said? <sighs> All right. Uh, for background, who said is a song that uh, Jonas made entirely by himself back in 2021. And it was absolutely terrible and, you know, very painful to listen to. Um, but it has some of his best lyrics. This one goes out to, to all, all the, the haters, haters, all, all of them insiders. Uh, no, all the naysayers saying we're bad. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, yeah, there's uh, there's some uh, Cassie Lauren coming. So a couple weeks ago, I think actually maybe a month now, uh, when we finally called Jonas out, uh, he actually confirmed that the lyrics are naysayers, and I thought it was insiders, and now I feel like a failure. You know I'm a failure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.